My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Boy, I picked the right color shirt to wear this morning. We've got a 1969 Camaro Z11 Pace car. It's an RS SS convertible, loaded up with some nice features. It's got a 396 motor, factory gauges, tachometer, the deluxe interior, uh, cow induction system, power steering, power disc brakes, power top, rare enduro rubber bumper up front. The list goes on and on. These are great cars. They only made about 36 or 3,700 of them. They were supposed to make 6,400, one for each Chevy dealer. Uh, so they didn't do that. And they're only built from April through May. So limited production car. This is one of them. Uh, go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all my specs, study over 100 pictures. And that's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, tops down, let's go for a spin. Okay, the fellow I got this from, he uh, owns a, a body shop, he's in the business, and uh, I bought a few collector cars from him. The last one was a nut and bolt rotisserie uh, uh, Camaro that he had done. He's owned this car for 19 years. He did not do a restoration on this one. This is just a really good driver in nice condition. He did the maintenance stuff. He rebuilt the front end, but this is not a nut and bolt rotisserie car, just a nice old car. And he's owned it 19 years. Uh, this is the paint job that was on it when he got it, and it still looks beautiful. Underneath the car, I would say it's exceptional. Uh, like I said, the front end, was all rebuilt, all the steering components, ball joints, bushings, springs, sway bar, shocks, all that's been replaced. Same thing in back, the uh, springs and the rubber grommets and the U-bolts and the shocks, all looks like that's been replaced. The exhaust still looks like new, has Dynamax mufflers. Brakes were rebuilt, has disc in front. The e-brake assembly is all hooked up, new brake lines, has a new fuel system. The, the tank, the straps, the sanding unit, the fuel line have been replaced. Uh, you look up at the motor, the motor is clean. There's some dents in the oil pan, but it's painted Chevy orange, it's clean. Has the heavy duty turbo 400 automatic transmission that's in there. And it has a 12 bolt rear end, probably like a 331 gear, I think is what came in these. The floors in the car, all nice clean floors. Uh, they've been uh, cleaned up and painted like a, a satin black. So under the car is very, very nice looking. Better than average, better than most. The body on it is also very nice. Again, he was a body man. He wouldn't own a car that you know, was junk or, or rough. Um, all these cars were Dover white with the orange stripes. Uh, I'm noticing the hood fits nice and square, all nice and smooth and fits nice. There's no bubbles down here at all. This is all in real nice shape. You got uh, the emblem looks like new. You got a spoiler. You got bumper guards. The bumper's real shiny. Part of the Rally Sport package meant the reverse lights were down below the bumper instead of in the tail light. Uh, emblem, everything back here is real nice. The stainless looks like good original. Marker lights are shiny. The wheel well moldings fit nice. The uh, exterior trim package included these louvers in the wheel well moldings. And this side of the car is just as nice. There's no bubbles. All clean body, clean metal. Real nice. Painted uh, orange stripes, they're smooth to the touch. The paint is very smooth and glossy. I didn't see any issues. Maybe there's a nick touched up or minor imperfection here and there, um, but overall the paint shows really well. Now I mentioned the rubber bumper up front. That's a fairly rare option. And it has the Rally Sport, which is the uh, hidden headlights. 
Windshield's crystal clear. I'm sure that's been replaced as a correct antenna. Uh, dual mirrors look new. Door handles are very nice, but there's a couple little pits. Door jams are painted nice. The weather strips have been replaced. They're soft. It is a power top. It's a white convertible top. It looks really nice. There's a little pinch, I think, on the other side, a little slit in the top. Uh, there'll be a picture of that on our website. But overall, the top's in real nice shape. So why don't we open it up and uh, give you a tour of the inside of the car. Nice, clean metal trunk compartment. I don't see any patches. I've also uh, felt up in the quarter panels, there's no cuts or splices. So it either has its original quarters or it's had full replacement panels, but they're not spliced. It also has what they call the shaker cans. The convertibles have these counterweights. Uh, and they are present. Uh, it's neatly spatter painted. The weather strip is real soft. The jam and under the trunk lid are painted very nicely. It has uh, 14 inch rally wheels with Goodyear tires. They're overall in very nice shape. Couple little dents in the trim here and there. Now we talked about the door jams. They're nice and clean. Uh, weather strips are soft. The bottom edge of that door is clean. And part of the uh, Indy Pace Car package is the orange houndstooth interior. The deluxe interior includes the molded door panel instead of the flat door panel with the armrest screwed onto it. And it's in nice shape. There might be a little nick on the edge or a little uh, fading on the armrest, but overall very good. The dash is real nice. The dash pad is not warped. Uh, it has the factory tachometer, clock, uh, factory gauges down in the console. That was all optional on the pace car. It was not standard. Uh, steering wheels in nice shape. Part of the deluxe interior includes the rosewood trim. So has the original radio, but in the glove box, you got a nice little surprise here. You got a more modern stereo. Down on the floor, we've got the reproduction floor mats, nice carpet. And then you have the orange houndstooth upholstery, which I'm going to say is in very good shape. It's not new. There's a little tear down here on the edge. And then we'll get in the back seat. <clears throat> all the seat belts are here, all the GM seat belts. I noticed the lights working in the back of the console here. Uh, the back seat and armrest, all that's in very nice shape. And I did want to also point out that this weather strip, it's probably the original, it's kind of brittle up here across the header bow. The rubber on the sides are still real good, but this piece up here is getting kind of kind of hard and brittle. Like I said, overall, just a very good car. This guy's a car guy. He wouldn't have hung on to it for 19 years if it was... Uh, a beater, so it's a very nice car, but it's not a uh, nut and bolt restored car. Uh, it's also not a hundred thousand dollars either. And look what we've got here a 396 motor. It's not the original motor to the car, but it is a correct motor. Um, at 396, 325 horsepower, it's clean, it runs real smooth. Everything in here looks stock. You have the cow induction and it is complete. It has a little flapper door in the hood, so it's a complete system. Uh, but stock carburetor, valve covers, manifolds, the alternator and fuel pump look newer. Uh, it has spring clamp battery cables, has reproduction hoses and clamps, has the proper shroud, the radiator cap, the horns are there. Looks like the squirters are not hooked up. It has the bottle, but they're just not hooked up. You got power brakes, you got power steering. Looks like one of the power steering hoses are new. This is the vacuum system for the uh, hideaway headlight doors. So again, a very uh, neat and orderly proper motor compartment. It's not your first place 
uh, show winner at a concourse show, but definitely nice enough at the local car shows to open the hood and be proud of it. So there you have it. This is an exciting car. It's a limited edition. It's got vibrant colors. It's a Rally Sport Super Sport 69 Camaro convertible with a big block motor, gauges, all the goodies. This is a great car right here. Very desirable. And it really is nice. I felt like in the video maybe I was knocking it a little more than I should have. Uh, but the door shuts nice. It's really just a good quality car. It's not the trailer queen. This is one you get in and drive and enjoy. And it's got so much going for it. Forget about the pace car. RSSS with a big block and a convertible. Super hot, desirable car. So anyway, that's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Talk to a salesman if you're interested. Ask them uh, the questions you have. They'll help you the best they can. They can also help get this delivered to your driveway, and they can help you get it financed at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon. That way, you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.